On July 25, 1946, a white mob lynched two black couples near Morris Ford Bridge in Walton County, Georgia, in what has been called the last mass lynching in America. The victims were George W. Dorsey and his wife Mae Murray, and Roger Mockman and his wife Dorothy, who was seven months pregnant at the time. Dorsey, a World War II veteran who had served in the Pacific for five years, had been home for only nine months. On July 11, Roger Malcolm was arrested after allegedly stabbing a white farmer named Barnett Hester during a fight. Two weeks later, J. Lloyd Harrison, the white landowner for whom the Malcolms and the Dorseys sharecroft, drove Mrs. Malcolm and the Dorseys to the jail to post a $600 bond. On their way back to the farm, the car was stopped by a mob of 30 armed, unmasked white men who seized Malcolm, Mr. Malcolm and Mr. Dorsey and tied them to a large oak tree. Mrs. Malcolm recognized members of the mob, and when she called on them by name to spare her husband, the mob seized her and Mrs. Dorsey as well. Mr. Harrison watched as the white men shot all four people 60 times at close range. He later claimed he could not identify any single member of the mob. The Morris Ford Bridge lynchings drew national attention, leading President Harry Truman to order a federal investigation and offer $12,500 for information leading to a conviction. A grand jury returned no indictments, and the perpetrators were never held accountable. The FBI recently reopened the investigation to the lynchings, only to encounter continued silence and obstruction at the highest levels. In response to charges that he was withholding information, Walton County Superior Court Judge Marvin Sorrells, whose father worked for Walton County Law Enforcement in 1946, vowed that, and I quote, until the last person of my daddy's generation dies, no one will talk.